I didn't realise that something like this was about to happen. But suddenly, there was an almighty crash. Help! Help! I realised that I was going to have to get out, and the only person that could help me was myself. Well, it was a normal Sunday night. I had had a nice day, relaxing, in my flat. I sat there eating my wine gums, just normal really. And then, as I picked up the remote to change the channel, the remote slipped from my grasp. As it fell to the floor, it slipped under the sofa, out of reach. So I had to get up and look under the sofa. As I looked, it was really far at the back, too far to just sort of grab, so I would really have to reach. As I did so, I picked up the sofa a little, just with one hand. Silly really, but I didn't think anything would come of it. But suddenly, there was an almighty crash. I didn't know what had happened. One minute I was on my knees, reaching for the remote, and then I was stuck with both sofas on top of me. I didn't know what to do. I was petrified. Help! Help! I tried to look around me to see if there was anything I could wedge the sofa up with just to get free, but everything I needed was just out of reach, until I spotted suddenly the packet of wine gums I had been happily munching on earlier was just in reach of my left arm. As I reached, I managed to find, just grab the side of the wine gum packet and get it to me. And this, I didn't know at the time, but this would be the only way I would survive the next four weeks. After four weeks, I realised I needed to get out of this. I was running out of food. All that was left of the wine gums were the black and green ones and I had soiled myself several times, so I thought, I need to get out of this alive. I tried to push the sofas up with all my strength, but they just wouldn't budge, and my leg had become stuck. I was trying my best, but with no leverage, it wasn't going to happen. Luckily though, after only eating wine gums for four weeks, I had lost so much weight that I was able to wriggle out of the sofas, Why I didn't try this before, I just don't know, but I'm lucky to be alive. <sighs> Never guess what I've done. I can safely say now that when I'm at home relaxing, I use a little bit more caution because I don't want anything like that to happen again. But, uh, so far, so good.